So now that we've started drinking, we definitely need to put some food in our bellies so that we're not schnockered in 15 minutes because these are excellent and um, strong. So they go down easy and I can see how it's gonna be a problem. So let's do this. Hmm. We're gonna make a little charcuterie sort of sort of plate. Um, you wanna say that and with the French charcuterie? No, no I do not <laughs> actually. Um, I begged Jocelyn to do this though because everybody that knows this woman knows that she makes the best platter. Thank you. For all of her gatherings. Oh, sweet. And when I try and do it, I pretty much do this. <laughs> you take it out of the plastic. Once in a while if you're lucky. <laughs> and she always makes it look so pretty. So I wanted to see her process of like putting it all together and doing the little yeah. Things. There's a terminology for that, but it's a word that I can't say on, on the interwebs. So, um, all of this stuff is just stuff we got at the grocery store. I've got, okay. is this Manchego? I think, yeah, Manchego. And this is called Drunken Goat. I love Why goat. not? Um, this is a honey goat. Um, and this is Danish blue. And we've got goat cheese with blueberry and vanilla. Um, I'm gonna put a whole bunch of stuff on here and make it kind of crazy, but you know, none of this is like fancy stuff. It's literally all from our local grocery store. Some strawberries because you need some color. Okra because I love pickled okra. Like pickled they're okra. Just yeah. my favorite snacky thing. And then I've got some little, um, I couldn't find, yeah, they're little gherkins. I couldn't find any um, cornichon, the like little tiny wonderful nice. ones, but these were smallish. I have Greek olives because you know I'm Greek and I can't kind of live without that. Sure. Um, I've got <gasps> fig spread. Fig spread, right? Oh, like you must have fig spread if fig you're gonna is have my favorite. Cheese. Yeah, really, like fig spread goes. I mean, not do it. other things too. But oh, I like, do strawberry jam. This is like yeah, peanut right? butter and je jelly jam. Like I've used that. Please tell me you didn't use any peanut butter. Then. <laughs> I told you I wasn't good at shaking anymore. <laughs> So I'll send I this here. I don't know what the rules are. You don't I just know, know that rules. you need big spread if you're gonna serve cheese. All right, so I've got um, some fancy crackers. And then right here I have, you know, see this is like seriously how it comes. This is from my house. Like <laughs> this is the way we do it. We're not, we're all that honesty here. I've got some gluten-free crackers for me. Are these the ones you made? Yes. All right, so I had Mark just buy me some pecan halves or pecan or however, pecan or whatever you say for that nut. Um, I just got some halves and I made these tasty little bourbon coated ones. Oh my God, oh my gosh, they are really good. So I will, um, I have a video on those and how to make them, so you'll get that too. Um, and I've got some grapes and I think that's it. We've got, um, what What do we have here? We, well, this is prosciutto. prosciutto. We have salami. Dry salami and prosciutto. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot the chopping up kind of little tiny salamis, but that's okay. It's just like the, when, like, the, you know, it's Mark loaded this stuff. Oh, so it's Mark's fault. It's all Mark's fault. Uh-huh. So, that's why anyway. he's not invited into your, <laughs> into your video today. <laughs> he's not invited. All right, so, um, I'm gonna let you do this and make it your way, and then I'm gonna teach you how to do it. <laughs> fancy stuff. Cause see, my way is like some strong. Throw it on there, sister. Do it your way. There's your olives. Oh, thank God you took them out in the plastic bag. <laughs> You're lucky. And then one of that. Tell me you're gonna open it. Well, I figure if people want it, they'll open it. And then this is the part that she always gets me because she does something crazy with the prosciutto. Uh -huh. And there goes my dog. Sorry. She's a terror. Uh huh. She's actually a little trampy. Uh huh. <laughs> hey, those don't look too bad. Do you know what the trick is? Until you wait and see her do it, and then you're like, oh. Can I tell you the trick? Tell me, because I'm ruining this trick this is board. crazy. <laughs> I, t I tear these in half because they're, um, and then I just make them into little rosettes of meat, <laughs> right? So I just kind of twist them up, but the, the thing is putting them, yeah. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. It looks like a tulip just starting to open. Thanks. That's what I was going for. Oh yes, I know. So, oh look, there, I've got one too. 
All right, so I'll keep rosetting here. What do you do with this? Because that you can't rosette. Okay. So can I just start over, sister? <laughs> I don't, I mean, I'm not saying that what I do is like. That's why we're here to learn. The right way, it's just my way. And so it's, that. And it's again, yeah. that you were the expert. Makes it pretty, right? I'm so rosetting over here. Pile some things up like that, right? And what ends up happening is you get little neighborhoods full of things. Like there's the prosciutto neighborhood, right? Um, I honestly, most of these, I just sort of like. I want to live in the prosciutto neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, so do I, right? I just sort of line these up. I'm going to move, you know what? Because I have meat here and meat here. I'm going to just sort of put, oh, but we have two things. Should we fill that, that all in the middle? Yeah, you, can, you tell me. You know, whatever looks different to you, the right? For the, then there's That's the, the truth. So some of these cheeses are kind of big. I'm going to reach across you, excuse me. And I am just going to slice this a little bit smaller and put this in. Oh, that doesn't look pretty. We're going to put it in like that. So this is actually a really good tip when you're making um, a platter for a lot of people or you're having something that's going to sort of last all night long, go ahead and cut those things down and wrap these back up and put them out later. So maybe that's one of my um, problems is that I never like, I always just, it, you put it everything out all at one time. The way that it comes from the store. And so yeah, it that's just looks too much. It's that's too much. kind of the problem, yeah. So, and then I like to spread out my color too. Um, so I've got red and green over here and then maybe take some grapes and the thing with grapes do you have scissors yeah <clears throat> can we just i'm gonna move this over my dog chewed on them once that's so right. they're a little bit janky looking mm -hmm. tell me you washed them after that well it was years ago <laughs> so they've been washed a few times <laughs> nobody panic all right so um when you're placing grapes whatever that nasty bit is you just kind of put it down at the end so you don't see it um, I had no idea there was a way to place grapes. Well, yeah, because like, there, that's better. You don't want like this stuff sticking out, right? You want the prettiness. It's just about, it's just all about placement. This is why that's you're doing it this. Is. I didn't know. That. It doesn't take but two seconds to look at it and go, ew, that looks ugly. And then put some other things on there. <laughs> now you've ruined it. <laughs> I have more in the fridge, don't worry. It's okay. Um, all right, so we'll get some blue cheese out. We've got several cheeses, don't we? I want to. This one is just bizarre enough that I'm dying to try it. What blueberry? The blueberry vanilla oh. cheese. So you, the the vanilla is pretty subtle, but the um, the blueberry is really good. So is that blue cheese? It's blue. It's oh. all sorts of. The funkier, the better. Mmm, that's a good stinky one, isn't it? Love me stinky cheese. Um, these little wedges often fit really nicely into the corner of cheese. Should I put a lemon on it? Yeah, we'll do that for some color, absolutely. And what? why don't we cut it and like spread some of the yellow out? But let's wait on that, because that'll be like a garnish, right? So we'll see where we have space for it and where we need some color. Does that make sense? Now I can smell like funky uh -huh. cheese. Um, and although the funky cheese smells really good, I don't want it getting on everything else and impairing those. All right, so wad up the meats. Spread everything around, right? I'll do this. Ooh, these puppies. Mm. Once you put those Let's out. Let's put the cheeses I'm, on. I'm I know, you're going to start eating it. That's what you do. So. Let's, um, you know what, that's purple and that's purple. So let's set, let's set that somewhere like here. Let's all come out and hopefully. Uh, it, it's squeeze a little bit and yeah. Okay. There you go. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of turn that a little bit. Beautiful. Can I have that now, yes. All right, so we're just going to block that up. And we're gonna fan these out just a little bit more. Spread a little bit. And then start like a starting to look like a Jocelyn platter. And you know what? It's not that hard. I mean, when I'm doing this by myself and not explaining it or anything else, I just 
flop it all out there and it's really fast. Um, so kind of gather your crackers and put them so they make like a, a pretty line. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And actually, as you as we go, it's going to get messier and messier. And then at the end, it just all comes together. I also really like these crackers because Mark loves these. They're his favorite. But they're really great because they stand up really well. So you can kind of shove them into spots where other things won't necessarily stand well. There we go. Grab those. Pickles, we haven't put any pickles on. Okay, we've got pickled things here. And I don't want my crackers to sit on the pickled things because they'll absorb the pickles. They, yeah, they get all wet and nasty and that's kind of gross. Um, but, so I'm gonna put these pickled things over here. Get some pickles in that. Oh, and nuts. Gotta have the nuts, because we're all nuts. <laughs> I'm also just saying that makes it kind of good. Absolutely. So we're just gonna put a pile there. Maybe a little pile over here. Fill up spaces. These nuts are really good for just filling up the little open spaces. I'm gonna put some more strawberries out. These have all been washed, by the way. I'm not like putting nasty stuff out there. Um, shoot, I forgot fig jam. We can put, we have a little, have a little bowl. We have a little bowl. Little bowl would make it perfect. Because then it's still pretty. Yes. All right, and then olives, these little tiny things like nuts and olives, I sort of put on at the end. And, and sprinkle them out. Yes, just to fill up the white space. Um, and truly, if I'm having a party, um, and I'm sober enough, <laughs> sometimes, that is key. You know, well, you come over and you make things like the quarantini and I get a little bit tipsy. So when that happens, um, every I'm, once in a while we it doesn't just stay pretty all night, end right? Up getting takeaway. Yeah. Well, that happens. But um, throughout the night, I will just go out and like take a glomp of, of olives and you know kind of throw them around or some more nuts and stick them in different places. If you have all of this stuff already ready, like I literally when we have a big party. I will just make my kitchen, my, my pantry will just have all of this stuff like right at the ready so I can just go grab one thing and throw it onto the platter and fill it all up again. I love Well, then you've also done like where your kitchen island was your charcuterie platter. Well, there is that. That was... Um, <laughs> when we have a big party, when we have a bunch of people, the whole... Yeah, my whole island turns into just the platter, right? Yeah, and really it can sure. have everything. Like, it'll have these things, but then it'll have, like, little baked goods and, and all sorts of stuff. And you just, why not? Everybody dig in together. So, do you think that's good enough? Oh, lemons. You're going to have to refresh the um, olive supply soon. I'm going to do this. That's okay. We have olive problems. That's why we're friends. Um, because, you know what? I'm... I'm Greek and we can't, Greeks can't live without lemon in their life. I mean, it's like I'm part not, of the diet, right? And I still love it. I know, and that's why we're friends. Mm -hmm. All right, so those little it's lemons so just add a little bit of color somewhere. I don't love that on top, but this looks so much better than that's mine. That's it. So we'll just go whoop. Well done. Oh, Ooh. throw an olive. So we're all eat that one. <laughs> and a great fill off. Mm. So you also need little tiny, um, I'll finish chewing. <laughs> Need some little cheese, um, cheese knives and things like that. Seriously, little most plates of, and yeah, my my cheese knives I I have bought at the dollar store, cheap little easy things, because you know what, half the time they get broken anyway, so I don't want to like spend a lot of money on them because fancy ones get broken just as easily as the cheap ones do. So um, as long as they look pretty, it'll make it look like a very posh, sophisticated sort of plate. So this is our finished charcuterie plate, or charcuterie, I can't even do it. I know. French is really hard for me to pronounce. If I keep drinking this, I'll be fluent here. <laughs> right. French, not um, I get really fluent in Southern and Greek. Also Portuguese. Sometimes all at the same time. Yeah, yeah that's really confusing. <laughs> Which is fun. <laughs> what is not confusing is these, um, these platters. You just really, all it is, is putting as much as you can on the plate and filling up every bit of space underneath so you almost don't see the platter. The other trick is to cut things into smaller pieces 
so that you can replenish and kind of keep it coming all night long. Um, you know how much I love to have you guys over and we, we constantly, our house is always full. If we're not traveling, our house is full of people. Mm -hmm. And this is the first thing that they see when they come to my house. There's always this ready. I constantly have these things on hand. Yep. Just buy some meats and cheeses and I always have fruit because I have kids. And so all of that is sitting there and ready to go and I just toss it onto a platter. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. Yep. And um, you know Beautiful. what? Cheers. Cheers.